Hey, what's up, fellas? How you doing, man? It's Anelli here. Hey, what's going on, guys? How we doing? Today, we're talking about a phrase that drives me kind of crazy. Uh, the phrase is, let it get deep or let it travel. If you've played baseball or softball, you've heard the phrase a thousand times. You've got any game, any practice, you're going to hear somebody say, hey, let it travel here, kid. Hey, let it get deep, right? You hear it all the time. Most hitters that are told to let it travel or let it get deep, it's because they're always hitting the ball off the end of the bat. Right? They're always hooking the ball or pulling the ball to the pull side. So all of their swings, they're always looking like they're out there. Right? That ball just, I almost just broke my bat here off the end of the bat right there. Right? They're getting balls middle of the plate and where the ball's going, they're always going to the pull, they're always going to the pull side. They're always hooking the ball. Right? They're always around the ball. They're always out front. And so what do you hear? You hear the coach say, hey, let it get deep. Let it get deep. Let it travel. Right? Well, if you're one of those hitters that's consistently being told to let it get deep and let it travel, and you're trying to let it get deep and let it travel, but you can't seem to let it happen, right? You're still getting balls off the end of the bat. You're still hooking and pulling balls, right? And your coach is saying, he's probably saying he's uncoachable. It's uncoachable. How many times can I say let it travel? How many times can I say let it get deep, right? Doesn't want to let it, won't do it won't do it, uncoachable, right? In my opinion, a lot of times, it's not that the player's uncoachable. The player is actually typically trying to let it travel, let it get deep. Uh, I mean, some players might not, but I would say most players that hear that are trying, but their swing's not allowing them to do it. So even if they let the ball get deeper, right? Even if they start their load later, and they try to stay loaded longer, right? A lot of hitters still can't make the adjustment because their barrel, their bat path is not working properly, right? They're not from the inside. Their barrel isn't turning deep. It's out in front and it's from the outside in. And so even when they try to let the ball get deeper, they still get around the ball and they still hook the ball. I was, trying, <laughs> I was trying to take a bad around the ball swing right there and miss the ball completely. But they're, you know, they're still around the ball and they're still doing this and they're still hooking the ball, right? And again, then their coach goes back to saying, let it get deep. So anytime, you know, and I've talked to our coaches about this. If I ever hear one of our coaches say like, let it get deep, let it get deep, right? Um, I, always, I always say we've got to look at his path, right? Because in order to have the ability to hit the ball deeper, right, and in order to use the big part of the field and not just hit everything out front, not just hook everything, one, we have to have a good path, like I said. We've got to be from the inside. If I'm not from the inside, if my barrel doesn't turn back and allow us to get inside so that there's a tightness here between the barrel and my, and my body, right? From this position, if my barrel starts to work back and from the inside, I can now hit the ball deep. And I can be inside the ball, okay? So that allows me to do that. If I don't do that, if I'm somebody that instead of turning the barrel back, I'm somebody that wants to push my hands out front, right? I want to push my hands out here. I want to throw my knob down at the ball. Well, now I can only hit the ball out front. And if I can only hit the ball out front, how do I let the ball get deep? I can't, right? And so that's what happens a lot of times is that the coach is yelling to let it get deep and the player can't because the player doesn't have a swing that's going to allow the ball to get deep. They can't hit the ball deeper. They can only hit the ball out front or they can only hit the ball by going out to in because they're in poor posture or they're pulling off with their upper body. There's a bunch of different things that could be happening, but their barrel always wants to go out. So once the barrel goes out, now it can only come across this way. So they're out to in, right? They're out here and now they're gonna smash balls down the third base line.
but they're going to get yelled at because they're not letting it get deep. It's not that they're not letting it get deep. It's that they don't have an ability to stay inside the ball or they don't have an ability to hit the ball deep. All right, so always look at the swing first. The other thing that they could possibly be doing is they could be doing a really good, uh, a really bad job at controlling their weight. And we've talked about this in other videos, right? But they, they might just be jumpy. They might be shifting into their front leg too early. And if you're consistently shifting into your front leg early, right? Well, now it's hard to be able to control the weight of my body, which means I can't wait for the ball. And if I can't wait for the ball, I'm gonna consistently be out front again, right? And so look for those two things. Look for bat path. Is the path working rearward from the inside? Is the body controlled during the stride? If those two things are happening, properly and we're still making contact out front okay then we've got to figure out you know do we do have to get started later you know what do we have to do to be able to allow the ball to travel a little bit more but for me I, I, I really don't like the saying of let it get deeper let it travel because I feel like it's just an easy you know it's an easy thing to say to make it almost look like we're coaching when we're really not it's just, we're not really making any true adjustments, right? And the thing that really drives me crazy is when the hitter gets up there and the coach says, let it get deep, and the hitter, you know, in batting practice, hits the ball over here, and then they say, let it get deep, and they, they hook it again, let it get deep, and they're out front, let it get deep. And then finally, you know, they take one swing where, you know, the ball actually goes, you know, that way, and coach says, hey, see? See what happens when you let it get deep? Right? And then the very next pitch, you know, the hitter, you know, because they just got, they happen to just get lucky, right? Like I always say, a broken clock's right twice a day. So they just got lucky on that one. And then they go right back again to doing this and go, hey, let it get deep. I'm like, okay, I'm done. <laughs> like, <laughs> so if you're, if you're someone that says let it get deep all the time, those are some tips. If you're struggling with players that you're, you're, you know, you're beating the let it travel into their brain, but it just doesn't seem to be working, look for these two things. And if you're a player that's constantly being yelled at because you don't let the ball travel and you don't let the ball get deep, check your swing out and see if you've got the right path and you've got control of your body during your stride. That's all I've got. Let me know if you have any questions in the comment section below. If you want to learn more about how to control your weight, about how to create a proper path, um, click the description box below. Uh, you can go over to our swing course. We teach you all about that stuff. So that's all I got. Thanks uh, so much for watching. Subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, give it a thumbs up, all that good stuff. We'll talk to you later. If you've got hitters that you're looking to improve before the start of next season, this is essential for you. Matt Antonelli here, former major league player, first round pick, and college coach. With this course, we're gonna show you exactly, step by step, how to generate power, develop bat speed, and enhance swing mechanics. Regardless of your hitter's age, this course is going to deliver advanced hitting techniques that will allow any hitter to get better and make an impact at the plate this spring. We have a full catalog of training content that you can access from anywhere at any time. This course is perfect for players, parents, coaches, instructors, and more. It offers a comprehensive package of drills and techniques that you can directly implement. Our course has helped hitters all over the country at different competition levels, and the feedback that we've received has been outstanding. The work you put in now will drive your success at the plate this spring. Get the essential knowledge that you need to take your game to the next level.